so this is North Shield and I'm going to have a walk around. This is the main street and today is uh, Monday the 7th of September 2009 and it's now uh, 7 minutes to 9 in the morning. It's a wonderful blue sky and it's quite warm. In fact it's the warmest day I've had for a few days which was certainly unexpected and um, very very pleasant. Although here, the early morning does tend to be the best part of the day. Well, it didn't last very long in the good weather because the winds come up, uh, which this place is, uh, is known for. Now, um, there's Greg's The Vegas. Uh, it's a national chain, but it's something I miss. Well, I don't live in the UK. Down this way, we come to the Tyne. So we're going to walk down there. Oh, there's McDonald's. Oh, we'll this. And here's something quite new, which is a pawn broker. Didn't really see much of them for many, many years. Rather unfortunate thing to say because it's usually associated with urgent requirement for cash. And spec savers, where I'm going to have to get my eyes done. I think I'll do it now, in fact. So when the road's down to the River Tyne, I'm going to go down there in a uh, short while, but we've seen it's very steep. That's what I like, the fish bar. I do like to see these flowers like this. I think it makes the street so nice. Wonderful colours. So we have the local member of parliament, whom I believe is, comes from the same town as me. So this interesting Georgian building dates from, I think it's the beginning of the 19th century. It was built uh, by a, um, a shipping uh, line, a very early example of corporate culture, uh, corporate responsibility I should say. And it was built, I think it was a library or something, and it's in mar maritime chambers. And you can see around the side, in fact, we've got the I image of the stag, which was the, uh, the, the logo uh, of the company there. Here we have uh, an anchor representing the uh, tradition of the area which is in shipping. And coming around here there's a view of the River Tyne and what appears to be an uh, oil rig up there which I presume is there for repairs, I don't know. It might even be, even be an oil rig, I don't know. Uh, below, on the, on the near side where I am, there's a picture. There's a picture. There's a here of the ferry. You can see in places because of the the white water where it's shallow, but it's, it's pretty white here. But we're very close to the estuary 
uh, where the River Tyne flows into the North Sea, and the Tyne is an actually long river by European standards. We have a, I would call, the upper promenade alongside the river. And now it's a little bit of a drop to Fish Key below. Um, it's very much a river walk. And these houses have nice views. Well, what I, I really appreciate, what I, I really do like, is the sound of the seagulls. The herring gulls. Um, Herring gulls in this part of the North Sea are quite large, and I uh, find it very beautiful. And there's the view upstream of the River Tyne today. And this point here was the border of the Roman Empire. The Romans were on that side of the river, and the non-Romans were on my side of the river. That was Italy over there, and this is not Italy. Think about it from here, you go as far as Basra, Iraq, the Roman Empire. And down there, somewhere, there's the, uh, there's the range of the Roman fort, but they rebuilt the, the gateway. And here we have a wonderful look at the Tyne Estuary. New lighthouse below on Fish Quay. And coming out here we can see Tynemouth Castle and Priory which has almost a thousand years of history in it, although unfortunately today a ruin. <laughs>